to In the Seams. I'm Meg Goodman, host of the podcast So-and-So, and and today we're with Jedi Manda to talk about what's in their dream studio. Hi, and welcome to In the Seams. Hi, thank you for the invite. You know, we're entering the most wonderful time of the year, and as we do that, tell us about the wonderful things in your dream studio. So in my dream studio... I, I, I'm a little bit different of a, of a hmm, sewist, I guess you could say, than the typical like quilter or fashion sewer, because I am a cosplayer. And so what I like to have in my studio might be a little bit different for most people. But the, the typical things that I really like to put in my studio is, of course, a Bernina machine. I have the, um, B, the what is it, the B570QE, yeah. And that's, that's what I have. So that is, that is the top of mine and great lighting mirrors and, um, a rack to hold all of my costumes. <laughs> so those are my tops I have to say for now. <laughs> so what was it like to design your dream studio? It was super cute. Um, it brought me back to the days of when I used to play Sims, um, the game Sims and creating, a, a studio from a, from a 3d angle. Um, it was, it was very weird because I'm not really, uh, a person that that plays a lot of sims and so being able to like put stuff around and just have money no object and just decide something that I really wanted to have in my house was really fun and kind of um, exhilarating to see the possibility that I could do so what dream studio item is at the top of your wish list Oh, I would have to say that foot tower that I put in there next to my um, next to my machine. I am a person who works with a lot of wild materials. I mean, one time I'll be sewing vinyl. Next thing I'll be sewing is leather. And then I'll be sewing like the lightest paper chiffon organza thing that you can even imagine. So I need all the capabilities of different feats to help different feats, different foot, <laughs> different, different uh, foot to put on my sewing machine to help me get through all of those crazy fabrics. So that is my ideal. So as the weather cools down outside, what are you staying in and working on this winter? I am actually working on a new costume. Um, like I said, I am a cosplayer. So I do a lot of uh, recreationist costumes as well as um, original designs. But uh, lately I have been and for a long time been a fan of Game of Thrones and I am a huge House of the Dragon fan. And I'm currently recreating a costume from the show, the one that Rhaenyra Targaryen wears in episode eight and 10. It's a black beaded gown with tons of embroidery and craftsmanship that is going to be my my winter my winter project it'll take me a couple months and I plan to compete with it so it's a long long project so that is what I'm working on over the winter Jedi Amanda thanks so much for joining us today yeah thank you this was fun and don't forget to head over to BerninaSweepstakes.com to enter for your chance to win the Bernina $100,000 Dream Studio Sweepstakes 